All right, let's make something. So again, we've got our linear snap point one, one. We've got our grid on Dremel. That way we don't make it bigger than the printer can print. Um, and we've got a thing ready to go. So I just, let's just learn a couple of the tools. So I want to make a box. So you make a box and down here at the bottom of your screen, it says how big you want the box. And again, I am in centimeters, so it's going to make a two centimeter by two centimeter by two centimeter. Uh, let's make that a six. I don't you know. And then drop it on our shape. Okay. Let's add another thing. Sphere. Again, it says radius one. That sounds fine. Let's, we're just going to throw some things on here, put them together. Um, cone. Come on, cone. Radius of one, height of two. Sounds good. Um, just to show you some of the features. Now. Again, I said that snap tool is pretty important. So we're going to snap the cone on top of this box. Now I need to be able to see the bottom of the cone. So I got to rotate this up and say I want to snap. And then I click on the, the face of the cone, the bottom. And then I need to click on the top of the box. And it will put them together. And I know they're touching because it, it does it. This is gonna this is an offset to raise something, and you don't want to do that. Unless you do negative, maybe, and put it inside. Just to, you know, possible. Maybe you do that because of something else coming up. Okay. Um, let's do the modify now. Let's uh, modify, modify. Let's uh, fill it some edges. So we're gonna create some round edges. So we're gonna. Do that edge. Uh, actually, let's do the top. Let's not get. Let's not do that one. Let's do the top and the bottom. Fill up those two. Come on, click. And it's got an arrow or it's got a number. You have to play with the numbers, but I think we're going to be in the points. You know, point four, point five. So that's what it did. It just rounded out that top and that bottom. And we can round all ways if we want. Let's do that. Let's round this one over here too. Oh, we got to get back to modify and fill it. Uh, fill it. Create round edges. Ooh. Ooh. It's, oh, because we filleted this, this whole thing now is an edge. That's interesting because it's all continuous because it's rounded. Okay. Um, so... I would have had to have done the right and the left first if I wanted to do all four of them. Didn't know that before. Okay. I don't know what's the edge. Anywhere you got an edge, you can fill it. Yeah, I wouldn't want to fill it that. All right. So let's get rid of that. Let's escape out of that. But let us roll around the back and let's show you what um, Chamfer does. Oh, come on. Hard part of it is always turning this thing. Okay. Let's Chamfer. So modify chamfer, create flat edges. So this edge and this edge, instead of rounding them, I'm going to flatten them. So again, I'm just going to pick 0.4. Let's see what it did is it made them flat as opposed to round. Okay. Yeah, this is the things you use to make shapes. So hit escape to get out of that mode. Ooh, I got out of that mode before I actually saved it, huh? So let's go back to chamfer. All right, modify chamfer. That edge, that edge, 0 0.4. Yeah, let's go 0.3. All right, good, done. Okay, all right, just you know, um, for fun, hey, let's see if we can, uh, is it going to let us fill it that top here? I don't know. Let's see. What's it going to let us do? And it wants, to, it wants to select the whole shape. I don't want to select the whole shape. I just want to select that. Sometimes that's the hard part. Only pick and get, get selecting the line you want to select. Come on. Quit clicking. Yeah, it just wants to select the whole shape. I don't know why. All right. So that's the idea of fill it. Oh, look at that. We can put things together, right? So you learned we snapped. We filleted, filleted, and we chamfered, and now we're going to subtract. All right, let's get back to 
front. Hey, click on home. We can go back, but I actually want to go farther. I want to put a round hole in this. So if I stick the sphere into there, hey, is the sphere up above the ground? Nope, it's right on the ground. Okay. So if I want to stick a round hole in there, I want to put the sphere in there, but it's not a hole yet. So I got to tell it to subtract that. So we go back to, oh, where are you? Combine. We go to combine and we say we want to subtract. Now it wants the first one you want, not the hole. So you click on the, I want to put a hole in, in this and I want the hole to be this shape. And then you click off. So let me run through that again. So I want to put a hole in the big in the big rectangle. So that's the first one I would click. That's the target. And then I would click the sphere to make it a round hole. And then I click off to say, hey, go ahead and do it. So again, we want to combine subtraction, click the target, which is the rectangle, and click the source, which is what shape hole, and then click off. Boom. So now we got a hole. So that's useful. Helps us round things out, helps us make holes. I mean, any shape, you're combining any shape. Um, and then, of course, the thing you always want to do is group things. As in, put them all, make them all be one. When you're done, you want to group them all because otherwise it won't print them as one shape. When you go to export it and save it, it will only be um, something else. It'll be just the first shape. So that's some of the basic tools. Now if I can find my...